YouTube. Well, I made a video of me wiping, masking, priming, and painting these, and I set my phone up, but it looks like I was doing it in the damn dark because of the shadow and the phone was underneath the canopy here on the front of the house over the driveway. It made everything look dark, but there they are. I'm going to put another coat of clear on them, high temp clear, but there they are, they're grabber green. I didn't remove the casting, I didn't smooth them up, I wasn't going to that much detail, I just wanted them kind of color match to the truck. And then I'll let them dry overnight, and then I will pull the tape and everything off of them tomorrow. Main thing is, when you paint these, make sure you tape off anything that you, that you can't see when they're, when they're assembled. Okay? Paint everything. It's rather to have maybe a little tape line somewhere you see a little sliver of aluminum or something than to get paint. You get paint in there where that impeller goes. That's a tight tolerance. Uh, you don't want that. Okay? Even on the cheap turbos, there's still a pretty tight tolerance. And uh, these Chinese turbos, man, people, you know, these are like a middle-of-the-road turbo. They're what I would call a uh, top-quality Chinese turbo. But if they do what I need to do, then I'll take the specs I've got on them, and I'll get into a better turbo, say like a Garrett or a Turbonetics or, you know, uh, there's a company called Comp that makes turbos. But I think these are on three is what these are or something like that. I don't know. My son bought them, but I know they were like four something a piece. So. But. Oh, they got a four inch inlet. Like a three inch outlet down here or whatever. Yeah, make sure you always tape them up real good. See, because when I taped this, I taped all the way through to the other side. Not just cover this side up, just in case anything would slip through under the tape. But, yep, there they are. They're taped up, painted up. I'm going to put another coat of clear on them here real quick and call it done. And this is all done with Duplicolor engine paint. Uh, that stuff works really well if you use the primer under it and your surface is clean. I always wipe everything down with 91% isopropyl alcohol on a good lint-free cloth. Uh, so, if you can put the alcohol in a spray bottle and spray the part and then wipe it down, uh, yeah, it works better, but yeah, don't use brake cleaner, carb cleaner, or, or starting fluid to spray your stuff because all of that does have a, some kind of oil in it. It will leave a residue. Starting fluid is good for getting rid of poison ivy, but you don't want to use it <laughs> to clean your stuff up before you paint. But there you go. Like I said, I made like a 17 minute video of me taping these and priming them and painting them, but everything's in the dark. You can't see nothing except outlines of everything. So, there they are. Paint it up. Some more clear, call it done. And that's a semi gloss clear, so when it dries, it'll be like an eggshell finish. Later.